For our molds that we make for our PIM machine, we use this setup jig and it's got some pre-drilled and tapped holes. Now we faced it, so it's got a, a pretty true uh, surface on it. Now we get our blank mold, we make these holes halfway and this is five and a half inch center to center and we have two of these threaded holes matches with that and we use two one inch quarter 20 bolts and this is how we secure them we prefer this way because first of all the surface underneath it is soft so if you have features you can cut through them uh, second it's easier to go all the way around the part uh, versus if you use the Y's then you have to flip over and face again uh, so if you if there's a part that you make often you might want to consider using a jig yourself our jig or depending on what the part is you make your own jig and face it first and then you place your parts and bolt it on there makes it really easy if, yeah, if you have the option to do that other option we have that you can use any precision wise um, and you can secure them using our holes hole pattern on the machine like so and you can clamp your part in that case you will have to clamp the bottom of a part and if you need to you'll have to flip it over and face it uh, to get it to your exact dimensions so these are some of the options you have for securing your parts if you have larger parts uh, or plastic parts uh, you may have to either glue it or you can also buy or make yourself a vacuum table so once we machine this for example what it would look like after it's done okay so that's there